Hi everyone, lovely Hi. to see you again. <laughs> Hi Letty, nice right. to see you. I would like to remind our uh, viewers that they need to concentrate on getting enough speaking time because I think everyone is learning English to communicate. There are exceptions, people who want to pass an exam or for other reasons, but I think in general, people want to communicate and to be able to communicate, you need speaking time. Mm -hmm. Also, you must have a positive mindset. That means that you should uh, think uh, in a positive way of your learning journey and mm -hmm. always try your best. So you need yeah. to take part, you need to speak, and you need to put into practice the things that you have been learning. Mm -hmm. So the conversation today is about school, right? Okay. We are going to do some more questions that we have already done about school. So Selma, as you are first on my screen, you will start to answer the question. Selma, were you sad to leave school? <laughs> Where I'm sad to leave school, I'm not sad to leave the school. I, I the the graduate the uh, high school. I I'm not sad, but um, because I, I'm I will I will get sad if I leave this school. <laughs> this time uh. with friends with. When you you study what you, you want. <laughs> right. So when you were actually at school, you weren't sad to leave. Uh, mm -hmm. But as you're now in a language school and you are mm -hmm. there because you want to be there, mm -hmm. uh, you yes. would be sad to leave this one. Exactly. How old were you when you left school, Selma? Oh, my gosh. But not because in different countries it could be different things. For example, in a certain generation it was 15, then in another generation it was 16. But I, I'm referring to high school. How old were people school, when they left high school? High school, uh, 18. 18. 18. Okay, so it depends mm -hmm. on your generation, mm -hmm. it depends on your country. People can leave school at different times, no? Uh -huh. I remember in my time, uh, you could leave the high school at 16 and you uh, had two choices. You could either go to work, you could either go to a technical college to learn to be a hairdresser, electrician or something like that. Uh, or okay. you could stay on for two years more to prepare yourself to go to university. So uh, we were okay. allowed to finish at 16. Uh, and depends, no, it depends no, exactly. what you wanted to do. You are correct because uh, high school is uh, before the, the technical study and it's uh, 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 14, 15, 16, exactly. The right. Same. So that's mm -hmm. what happened in my time at 16. Mm -hmm. You had the possibility. Now you don't have the possibility. Now you have to stay to 18, like oh, it or not. Okay. So you mm -hmm. had the possibility to go to work, to go to technical college or study two years to be hopefully going to university. Oh, right. Okay. Alan, what resources would you like to have had back then? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I wish we had computers back in those days. My goodness, what a what a leap forward, having uh, Internet and being in contact with the whole world. And of course, it's quite educational using the Internet. And uh, anyway, in all forms, even the spelling or the grammar, it's almost you're, you're teaching yourself at the same time. So it's mm -hmm. an absolute godsend. I mean, for pupils nowadays, I don't say they've got it on a plate, but uh, they certainly got it easier than when we uh, were that age. Um, yeah, and so I, if the school opens that door to the possibility of using computers, uh, it can make uh, learning a lot more interesting, no? Because before well, yes, we just had books. Why uh, the younger children are so much more forward than, than my generation, because they've got access to so much 
technology, uh, you know, it's just all there on the computer. Anything you want to know, just type in Google or whatever, and it, there's your answers. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I wish we'd had it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I was talking to my daughter the other day. She's going to work in a state school in secondary. And she said uh, the children have a certain day where they can use the computer to learn English. Ah, yes. So uh, that happens one day. When I was a, a child in the, um, in the uh, high school, we had a language lab, but it didn't have computers. No. So you could put on headphones. Oh, yes. And, and the teacher could hear you pronouncing and you could see some slides. Ah, not a yes. film mm. or anything but some slides yeah, so that was yes. the only thing we had then to learn yeah. a language so it was mm -hmm. quite primitive it there wasn't a lot so you would have liked to have had internet and technology in your classroom when you were a teenager yes absolutely right linda which would you rather had used a textbook or a pc In my time, um, I had uh, used only book uh, in uh, till the high school. I mean, till my 18th. Then uh, in university, we had the possibility to use uh, computer, but um, the time was limited. Right. But which was... ones do you prefer, textbook or PC? Um, I think. For each one, um, each one is is good for uh, the, its time. <laughs> I mean that at that time we like we like textbook, uh, and now we like also computers. So <laughs> both are good and nice to use. In the very, um, I don't know how to classify this. There are some schools that use uh, tablets, mm -hmm. and since uh, the first day of school, everyone has a tablet. Yeah. And they do the homework on there. They do the classes on there, but not in all schools, only in some specialized schools or with schools with resources. No. Mm -hmm. So I remember my nephew, he had um, a tablet and the teacher would send him his homework, correct his homework. Also, he would use it in the classroom. So he was more advanced and they used less the textbook. The only good thing about using technology is maybe if we didn't print so many books, we wouldn't uh, cut down so many trees maybe. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know in the different countries, but for example, here in Spain, we buy books and they're worth over a hundred euros every year, more than a hundred euros per child. And uh, they don't pass the books on from one year to the other to another person. And it means you keep having to buy books. So if you are an editorial, good business. If you're a bookshop, good business. But I don't understand why the children have to buy new books every year. And mm -hmm. we have to cut down the trees to make these books, no? Right, Selma, how did the students behave in your class? A typical question, no? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, the the students. So most of the girls <laughs> had a, a good uh, <laughs> good behavior, uh, uh, and the but the boys are not the, <laughs> the good ones. <laughs> good what did they do? Did they shout? Did I don't know? Uh, talk they shout. Or... They shitting. They shitting. They shitting. Oh, they were cheating. <laughs> All cheating, right, cheating. <laughs> and did they fight as well? Fight? No, no. I, no, no, no. Uh, okay. No, no. They were just fight boys, was... no? They were just <laughs> boys in the sense of being mischievous and doing uh, things that they're not supposed to do. Uh, so uh, your school was mixed, boys and mixed. girls, no? Exactly. So there were some uh, schools uh, before, whether it was all girls or all boys, but your school was mixed. And yes, Alan, right. how did uh, students behave in your class? Well, they were quite attentive because back in, in my generation, uh, you were punished uh, severely if you were caught, uh, or not just misbehaving, <laughs> but if you were constantly being uh, 
talking all the time and you had to be reprimanded goodness knows how many times, then you knew you were going to get the cane or the slipper on your backside. So corporal punishment was part of uh, schooling and you dare not step out of line. Um, ultimately, you were sent to the headmaster uh, if you were really a, a, a bad person. Um, so on the whole, they were pretty uh, attentive. Back in my generation, of course, there were not mixed schools. We were all boys and there was a girls' school on the other side of the wall, if you like. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yes, generally speaking, uh, they were pretty good, really. Yes. So do you think uh, being an all boys school, they behaved worse or better? That's being on say, really. I mean, I, um, probably more so than if they're mixed. Now, I could be wrong because I've never experienced sitting in a mixed school at the age of 13, 14 or 15. So I can't really say, quite honestly. I, I would imagine there'd be more goings on with a mixed school than with a uh, set up for boys and girls, as you can imagine. I'll say no more. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't generalise, no? But, um, yeah. for example, teenagers uh, are, are, sorry, are at an awkward age. Teenagers yes. are at an awkward age. They yes. don't know who they are. Their hormones are going crazy. Yes. And what I have noticed, this is what I'm dreading about going back now to work. Uh, when they change from one year to the other, you notice it when they're teenagers. Mm -hmm. So they're normal. They do the normal things they're not supposed to do. But then there's a moment where they feel insecure uh, the boys and girls uh, look at each other in a very unusual way <laughs> and um, it's hard for them to concentrate because they are, I wouldn't say they're flirting, but they make uh, comments and they laugh mm -hmm. more, they get giddy, that means like lightheaded laughing, no? So uh, I think there are studies to show that when boys and girls are separated, they get better school results. Mm -hmm, I'm sure. So today mm -hmm. I couldn't say, but I remember years ago, I looked at the surveys and girls got better marks than boys. Yes, and I'm that sure. is when they're by themselves mm -hmm. because they study more and they're more serious or more they dedicated. mature. Mm -hmm. They mature quicker than uh, boys. Mm. But you can't generalize. We're talking uh, the possibility, right, the Linda? Time. The time. We have the the time. one minute. We have to oh, oh right. <laughs> so uh, we will finish here and come back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Tell me, I was so busy listening to what you all had to say. So we will stop now with our school conversation, and we will come back. So see you okay. in a minute.